Hey, I'm Skyler, and today I'm going to show you how to customize the menu bar on your iPod Touch. It's actually really, really, really easy. Anybody can do it. So let's dive right in. Apple has pre-selected Messages, Mail, Safari, and Music to be your default dock items. If I want to shuffle those around a little bit, I'm just going to rest my finger on Safari, and everything starts to wiggle. Once it's wiggling, it means that I can pick it up and slide it around. It's sort of like one of those puzzles that you used to get with tiles, and you could slide the tiles around into different configurations. So anything can be moved to pretty much anywhere else. And if I want, I can take things off the dock one by one until it's empty. Now, while things are still wiggling, I'm going to think about what things go together. So in my case, Reminders and Calendar go together, so I'm going to pick up Calendar and drop it on top of Reminders. It's going to create a folder, and it calls it Productivity by default. I'm going to erase that and call it Time. Clock probably goes in there too, so I'm going to pick up Clock and drop it down there. Now I'm going to pick up that whole folder and drag it down to my dock and let go. Now I've got a folder called Time on my dock. And I could do a similar thing with, say, Mail and Messages, because those are about communication. So I'll drop Messages on top of Mail and call it ComLink. Don't ask me why. Then I'm also going to put FaceTime there. And then I'll put that folder on the dock. Now, I use Safari, and I also use the camera all the time. So I'm going to put both of those on the dock on either side of these two folders, or maybe the camera in the center and Safari in the center. And then once I've got everything configured the way I want it, I just press the Home button, and they all stop wiggling. That's it. That's how you customize your menu. I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching.